So, you got yourself an espresso machine. That's awesome. Someone told you you should get a grinder. And you're like, meh, it's fine. You'll probably buy some pre-ground coffee from the supermarket and that should be fine. Something like this. Ground coffee, it's great. Three months go by. The coffee's like, meh. It's not as good as your coffee shop that you normally visit. You'll be like, this is not worth it. You'll return that machine and you'll go back to your Keurig. You'll go back to your Keurig. You shouldn't go back to your Keurig. So today, I'm going to talk about why this isn't there yet. The, the science behind it. And then I'll actually make some coffees. I'll try this out versus the beans that I normally have. And we'll see how this goes. So what's the science behind this? There are three things that matter. The first is a fresh grind. The thing is, a whole coffee bean locks in some flavors and aromas. And the moment you break it up when you grind it, uh, it's like within 10 to 15 minutes, a lot of those are lost. And if you make coffee out of something that's staler than that, uh, you lose that oomph. So I don't know when this was ground. Like, it could be six months ago, and I'm still drinking it. The second one is about a fresh roast. Roasting is the process that converts a green bean into your light, medium, dark roasts. And again, it's advisable to use it within 5 to 20 days or even a month after you've roasted your coffee beans. The thing is, I don't know when this was roasted. And the last one is about a grind size. The thing is, again, this is meant for a pour over, it's meant for French press, it's meant for espressos, a wide range of grind sizes and it's somehow somewhere in between. And that means when you're trying to make an espresso, this is not the perfect grind size. And that again results in losing out some oomph. So overall, you've got these, these three reasons and this triple whammy of why you should not be drinking a pre-ground coffee. So now let's, let's make some and see what this looks like. I'll start off by opening up this bag and making sure my portafilter is warm I'm putting my dozing funnel and a few scoops of this coffee. I'm trying to go for 18 grams. That's what I'm going to go for. Distributing the beans. A few more taps. And then tamp this. It's pretty hard. I, you know, it's obviously not the right grind, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. And, uh... Let's make some coffee. It, what's most interesting is how there's, there's crema. Like I did not expect so much. Uh, frankly, pre-ground coffee, a lot of the carbon dioxide is gone. But uh, this gyna is not bad. You can see a lot of bubbles there. Now that's because it's a pressurized porta filter. Okay, let's switch to whole beans. I've got this in Rwanda, which was roasted two weeks ago. That's decent enough. And I'm going to grind it fresh. This time. Noisy. I'm going to use 18 grams again. Distribute the beans. Tap a little. And then finally damp. <clears throat> All right, let's make some espresso. Now, if you visually compare the two, the whole beans on the right look clean and smooth. But then again, this isn't a visual test. Um, let's make some lattes. First, let's pour the pre-ground espresso. <laughs> Oh, that's bad. Ugh. That's... That's... And now for the whole bean espresso. Ooh, that's better. Oh, that's much better. I might be biased on this one. Ugh. So this is the latte made out of pre-ground coffee. And let's see how this tastes. Hmm. <clears throat> Very burnt. Um, and it's like, it's like hot chocolate without the chocolate, <laughs> you know? Okay, let's try the other one. So this is 
the one we made out of the beans that I had, freshly ground, and let's see how this tastes. Yeah, this has a lot more depth and uh, like I said, it has that oomph. When I compare with the pre-ground coffee, it's, I don't know, it's, it tastes like a pour over. This is not a latte. And this uh, has flavor. <laughs> So there you have it, um, pre-ground coffee, no, this is, this is not a latte, no, this is, no, and uh, find your beans, find the source, find it fresh, um, if you don't have a grinder, again, it's all about the time that it's actually roasted and then it's ground, so get it ground at the shop and try to finish it up as fast as you can. Otherwise, invest in a grinder. This is possibly the most important thing you could do for your coffee. And that's it. I'll see you guys in the next video uh, without this coffee. <laughs>